In this video, you will learn how to create and manage cloud ebooks. First, let us take a uh, quick understanding of cloud ebooks. Now, basically, with GoToBe Author, you can create ebooks as apps for different platforms web, desktop, mobile, and so on. Now, with cloud ebooks, you're adding an extra layer on top of the app. Now, what can you achieve with this layer? With this layer, you can have, you can introduce things like user permissions, so you can have user access, you can control who has access over the ebook and who can't. Now, of course, this layer has to communicate with our cloud server. So basically, you can control how this uh, layer behaves. You can, at any moment, you can choose the book to be public so that anyone can access it, or you can have it to be private and locked only for specific users. With this layer, you can also have encryption, so you can encrypt the content with a key that is stored on the cloud or on the server, and only rightful users or privileged users will be able to gain this key so that uh, the, the book content is uh, decrypted. Also, with the, with the cloud ebook, this layer, it can introduce uh, note synchronization. So basically, if a user is using the, the book and he's adding notes and taking highlights and making bookmarks and so on, uh, if he closes the app and opens it again, if he opens the same book but on a different device, like uh, on a, as a web app or a mobile app on a different platform like iPhone or Android, and he logs in using the same uh, login information, he will be able to retrieve all his notes and bookmarks and so on. So the cloud layer basically synchronizes his notes across all the platforms, all the different platforms that are using the same cloud uh, ebook. So you can use the same cloud ebook for different apps or is use the same cloud layer for different uh, when you're exporting the same book to different platforms. So it's, uh, it may, may sound a bit confusing, I agree, but let's take an example and we'll see how this can be done. So just to simplify things. Now this is a blank book, as you can see, in good to be author. We'll just uh, jump straight into export so that we're exporting a blank book. Now in the case of web app, desktop app, native mobile app, and integrate with LMS, you can see in these four options where you have a reader embedded, so you're exporting an app, at the top you see you have something called convert to cloud ebook. Now it gives you a long description here to explain it and remind you. But basically if you if you want to convert this into a cloud ebook or you want to add a layer, a cloud layer on top of the the app, then you click on this and you choose add as new book. Now, if you already have a cloud ebook, then down here under Sync with Book, you'll find a list of all the different cloud ebooks that you already have. So you can synchronize different cloud ebooks together, right? So when you export an app, you can already synchronize it with a, another cloud ebook. So both will share the same users, the same uh, list of users who have access to it, the same notes, the same everything. So this is a very good way to just, you know, share uh, content. Uh, and uh, share permissions between different platforms. So th th since this is our first book, we'll click on Add as New Book. And you see you have an option that you have to set in the beginning only when you're creating a new cloud ebook because this is something that's not, that it's, it's something that you can't undo. It happens at once since the security base happens once and that's it. So you either encrypt or you have it uh, not encrypted. So keep it like this and uh, click on create save anywhere yes so as expected it will give you a message that you're not permitted to use Kutubi Cloud now Kutubi Cloud is one of the things or the cloud ebooks is one of the things that's not included in the free license so to uh, we can sign up for a trial we'll go to the open the website Go to Downloads and Pricing. Scroll down under Kutubi Cloud. You have Cloud Ebook. You're welcome to go ahead and buy if you like. Actually, if you pay for a year, then you get a good discount. In our case, we'll get, click on Free Trial. And we'll paste our license here. Sign in. 
and now it gives you a message that you're registered to this subscription plan now we'll go back here and we'll try again click on create save okay so it tells us the book has been exported successfully click on ok so uh, this seems very natural and you know where's the cloud ebook and so on uh, we'll go to the manage tab and under cloud ebooks you'll be able to see your book here okay so that's the difference now the cloud ebook and the the ebook that we just exported it's uh, it's tied to the to the back end that's the best thing you can at any time you can you can uh, uh, remove access to the ebook you can add users you can uh, change the permissions uh, you can do many things to it so let's see what what options we have we'll click on settings so it gives you the book permissions is it public so that anyone can access it you now if you click on private shows us more more uh, more options here do you want to synchronize the annotations with the back end so uh, by annotations we mean the notes bookmarks and highlights so do you want to store everything on the back end so that you can access these uh, annotations from different devices so I click on yes self-registration do you want users to uh, to sign up themselves to the book now if you say yes you have another option that appears request admin approval first so when someone new signs up you receive an email asking you to approve or reject this uh, user request so if you don't check this then any new user who signs up will automatically receive access Device DRM. This is a security. Uh, it's, a, it's a DRM uh, uh, security feature from uh, created by us. And basically, you want to prevent users from sharing their login and passwords with others. So if someone subscribes to your ebook or has a login, it's not fair that he shares it with thousands of others. Uh, and they all use the same uh, username and password. So with device DRM, you're limiting the number of devices that can be used for a single login. Now uh, we recommend three. We find three to be a suitable number, since a person or an individual uh, user normally, you know, he can use three different devices to uh, access a single account at any time. If you know, if a user has a lost his phone or changed his uh, computer and so on and sent you an email that he wants to reset you can clear all the devices from here or you can do it uh, per user and we're gonna see how now tin can is something for e-learning if you're familiar with uh, e-learning concepts tin can is a way to report all the activity that's happening in the book to see how the users are interacting with the uh, elements and with the uh, chapters so you need to enter the lrs username password and so on now at the top you'll find you have some uh, further tabs you have a users and this is where you add the users manually so that they can receive access to the book now if you have it set so that users can sign up themselves then you don't really need this unless you know you you want to invite a user and, and add him by yourself you can do so from here now let's add just the email any email to see the options that we have Okay, so you see we have activates and activation email and delete. Now, these will send notification emails to the user. So once we activate the user, you see we have a deactivate button and devices. Devices will list the different devices that he used to log into the ebook. If you click on that, of course, since this is just uh, we just created this now, there's nothing here, but you have a button here saying clear all devices. This will clear the devices for this particular user. Now click on back. We'll go to email settings. Now with cloud ebooks, there are many notification emails being sent. For example, a new user signs up, he receives a confirmation. You know, you as the as the cloud ebook owner receive a, a request for approval. Uh, the user, for example, he forgot his password, so he uh, chose the, to reset his password. He received a notification email for that. He's deactivated, he receives a notification email. Many notification emails. Now, for you, uh, in case the cloud ebook, uh, uh, sorry, in case your ebook is in a different language, you can set the, those emails to, to be sent in different languages. 
So by default it's English, but you have between, uh, you have uh, 17 different languages to choose from in case you know you want to uh, uh, you're targeting non-English uh, speakers. Now uh, you can also brand the emails that are being sent, so they don't have to be sent from kutubi.com with the kutubi logo and so on. So you can have uh, the name of your choice, and you can have an email address so that they can reply to you there. And you can customize the header and the footer of the emails so the, they don't contain the Kutubi logo, but they can contain any logo that you wish. So, so that's uh, basically uh, how cloud ebooks uh, work and how you can manage them in a very simple way. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us at the support center. Thank you.